Hello, I am uh, Dr. Ashwini Kumar Panigrahi. I am a senior consultant and nephrologist at uh, Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad. Uh, so today we are, uh, we will be uh, telling about a story which is unique and quite challenging also. Uh, because uh, normally we do renal transplantations and uh, most of the centers they do. Uh, but normally what happens, there is a dearth of kidney uh, donors. So donors are very less in comparison to our uh, uh, population of kidney or end stage uh, renal disease patients. So what happens normally if there are certain patients are there where uh, the family members are there to give the kidneys but unfortunately they don't match. Like I will tell let us say the donor is uh, uh, B and the recipient is A or O then previously we were not able to uh, put that or uh, we were not able to do so there was a barrier definitely but now this thing these challenges we have overcome that is called ABO incompatible transplant we have started doing it and the results are really good so today I will introduce one of my patient who have recently been transplanted uh, the donor is her uh, mother and she will uh, speak about her experience. Namaste, my name is Sardani Eshwan Kaur. I am 26 years old. I am from Karim Nagar, Telangana. Uh, I was having uh, chronic kidney disease. Uh, when uh, in 2017, um, I got dengue fever. I went to a small clinic where uh, they have done some uh, sample tests, blood tests and uh, they they said that I have an infection in my blood. Then I got to know that uh, uh, fever is high. After that, I had few symptoms like uh, vomitings and uh, uh, I was not able to uh, walk properly. So after that, um, uh, my father got expired due to same reason, dengue fever uh, with the multiple organ failure. So at, the, at that time, I have uh, admitted in hospital. <coughs> then uh, they have done some uh, multiple tests and they said that creatine is 4. Then at that time, I got to know that uh, I have some kidney problem. So after that, they have uh, gave medicines. I use those medicines and uh, after using uh, my creatine came to 2, 2.5. Uh, at that time, I didn't uh, had so much knowledge about this kidney functionality or creatine levels. I used to think that 2 is a good number, but I never knew that 2, two is equal to 50% kidney damage. So I, used, I neglected that. Uh, after that, uh, I went to, um, to other place uh, for my training purpose. So I have uh, ignored those medicines because I was in a thought that my level is good i never had any symptoms after uh, testing again then i uh, the test results were like 4 4.5 then i started uh, using medicines again i went uh, to one of the like highly reputed uh, hospitals in hyderabad so uh, we need to do biopsy further to know the actual reason why uh, creatine is raising so uh, i have admitted in that hospital for one day uh, after that ultrasound test, they uh, got to know that my kidneys were shrinking. So doctor said that uh, biopsy can't be done because of those shrinking kidneys. Uh, he suggest and uh, he said that you need to do dialysis because your creatine is five. So because they are giving only two options, either dialysis or uh, kidney transplant. So I thought of opting for um, Ayurvedic. So I have researched in. Uh, Google and YouTube and uh, I have uh, used Ayur Ayurvedic medicines for at least two, one and a half years to two years. Then uh, temporarily purpose I got I got good results like if my creatine was five uh, after using Ayurvedic medicines my creatine used to come to four then I used to feel very happy that it's decreasing but uh, after that many of my I mean closed ones they said that Ayurvedic is not the solution because Ayurvedic, it, it temporarily shows a result, but uh, it doesn't give you permanent solution. Ayurvedic might be best in other uh, diseases, but not in kidney disease. So, so then I stopped Ayurvedic uh, medicines and then 
again uh, went to another uh, allopathy i mean reputed uh, hospital there also they were saying the same thing like uh, you need to do dialysis or kidney transplant only two options as you are young uh, you have a bright future ahead so you need to do transplant will be the best option then even though i was very scared uncle's friend's friend uh, he works in uh, apollo hospital uh, he is a cardiologist so uh, we reached out to him so he said he referred ashwini kumar doctor uh, he said that he is a best nephrologist you go him and consult uh, consult him so I, as soon as we got the information we just came to ashwini kumar doctor and i have explained uh, all my uh, things like what i have done since 5 uh, years what i have like what medicines i took uh, i even said that i have stopped medicines uh, in between and i said i taken ayurvedic medicines and that didn't uh, work so after listening to this he gave medicines and um, after few days he said that as you are young you can offer uh, that uh, you can offer kidney transplant so i was like um, again i was in like in a uh, thought that again it's a very big thing transplant is a very big thing uh, after uh, many follow ups do- i got trust on doctor the way he speaks to me like the way he encourages me like he he never treated me as a patient he just treat me as a hurt his daughter so family member so he i got i don't know if i talk with doctor i get so much energy and trust on him he said that there are four i mean uh, options like uh, uh, cadaver option in transplant and abo incompatibility and uh, it's swapping process so he explained all those things so doctor again um, he suggested that uh, you need to do you have a good future so your creatinine is also increasing and before before that only he suggested to me to do fistula safe side so i have done fistula uh, it helped me a lot because uh, for emergency purpose if we creatinine increases they are putting some line here and uh, they are doing dialysis that was very painful like i got to know that why doctor said prior to do uh, fistula uh and then um, my creatinine uh, it was increasing till that till june 2022 i never had any symptoms but after june uh, i was ge- uh, getting few symptoms like my legs were swelling my eyes were swelling as soon as i wake up my f- face used to swell like this and uh, doc- uh, doctors uh, i used to get fever i never said uh, i didn't uh, inform doctor first like i got fever but after few days i informed the doctor i'm getting fever and i'm getting cough then doctor said that it might be sign of uh, it is a sign of uh, this creatinine increment you need to do dialysis because of uh, fluid accumulation you are getting uh, fever and cough so you need to dialysis uh, so uh, i i said okay then uh, he said that uh, then uh, we we family members came to a decision that we will do uh, transplant because uh, cadaver I, uh, it will take time uh, it will take time to get kidney but my condition is uh, getting worse uh, day by day so then we decided to do abo compatibility so we uh, visited a doctor and uh, he explained what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, this thing it's not like uh, uh, everything will go fine if in case if anything goes wrong also you, you need to be very strong uh, he encouraged a lot uh, to do this thing and then afterwards uh, after multiple test of of my mother uh, it's not like if my mother uh, is having any issue they will be doing it's not like that my mother should be completely fine if she is having any issue with uh, not only kidneys or any other health issue they are not going to do it so after multiple test uh, all test were good and then my transplant has been done successfully uh, i real i'm very lucky like i i'm feeling regret i why i didn't met uh, ashwini kumar doctor 5 years ago if i met 5 years ago i would have not uh, uh, gone to this uh, stage so uh, he is very cooperative he he is very friendly and he answers the most uh, the good thing is he answers to my silliest questions like dumb questions in a patiently manner so that is good about him <laughs>
and uh, i literally thanks sunita uh, assistant of ashwini kumar doctor as um, me and uh, my mother are like we both only took care of everything uh, she took care of uh, everything so i am really thankful to sunita mostly i really thank ashwini kumar doctor uh, he understood my situation he never judged me uh, he is very friendly he encourages me he just says trust yourself trust on god that's it and i really thank apollo hospital for my treatment <laughs>